हे वेमन आई एम समय कावेरकर एंड वेलकम टू अगर मीडिया अकेडमी दिस इज द फिफ्टींथ टूटोरियल इन ब्लेंडर एनिमेशन सीरीज फॉर बिगिनर्स इन द लास्ट टूटोरियल वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द यू वी मैपिंग टू द थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट्स वर्क सो बेसिकली वी अंडर वी विजिटेड सम वॉट इन द यू वी एडिटिंग वर्क स्पेस एंड वी जस्ट ट्राई टू यू नो जस्ट स्केल इट अप एंड स्केल इट डाउन टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द टेक्सचर्स आर बिंग मैप फ्रॉम द यू वी एडिटर पैनल to the 3d objects directly right now in this tutorial we are going to understand and learn how to do the inverse of it so let's say uh, we have a very complicated object here and the uh, default uh, uv map of it will not be uh, properly uh, set up so we need to by our hands manually set up the uv uh, mapping so for that we need to basically unwrap the model so what is unwrapping a model let's first understand what unwrapping is so basically right now we have a 3d object this is a cube so a cube is a 3d object with six faces now uh, to unwrap the model means to flatten it out so when we flatten the object out we need to open it up from all the sides so when we open it up from all the sides then the uh, 3d object can be uh, flattened or unwrapped to a 2d plane so to do that what we need to do is we need to mark the seams first we need to uh, first we need to mark which are the uh, vertices that which are the edges that we want to cut so we will give cuts to all uh, to some of the vertices of some of the edges of this cube and then open it up flatten it out to give a 2d object 2d plane right so to do that we need to go to the uh, in the layout panel we have selected the object and let's go to the Uh, edit mode edit mode either press tab or you can just go from here to edit mode so right now we are in the edit mode let's go to the vertex uh, edge select mode now we can select the edges what we all need to do is uh, select the edges in such a way that when we unwrap it uh, it will give a flat image so to unwrap it i need i need i already know that we need to mark the seams in such a way let's first create a u so i'm uh, selecting this uh, edge i'm sh uh, pressing shift to multi select multiple uh, edges i selected this this so this is a u u like surface here you can see then we go upwards select this one and this one right so this is a u again and again let's go here this one and this one so which are the uh, vertices that i have selected let's first understand i want to give it a uh, give a cut here right i want to give a cut here and here so that this face opens up right let's just understand this is the face right here uh, maybe in this direction yeah <laughs> so this is the face which is right now this like this so we gave a cut here like this here and here right so these are the three cuts that i give this u this what i formed right here this u now when i open this up it will flatten out so it will flatten out that's why we have given this uh, selections to the cuts this edge this edge and this edge will flatten out this face this face will be flattened out now this cut also says that these two faces will be joined but will be cut from here and here and the same goes for this face this face and this face will be joined but will be cut from here and here now what happens at the bottom face for the bottom face we have just a cut here 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 from this side here here and here right so what will happen is this face will be joined to this face but this face will also be joined to this face and this face so basically if you can just imagine this is all about imagination sorry i cannot show you what is actually happening but this is just what we what you need to imagine uh, it will create a t shape let's just see how to create the t shape so once i have selected the edges that i want to uh, cut then i need to mark them so to mark them i am just going to do the right click and uh, we should have a mark seam here right mark seam so as soon as as soon as i do mark seam Uh, the edges that we had selected will be uh, colored red red in color 
so it says these are the seams now we select all the edges let's go to the edit uv editing panel here also we have the same uh, uh, seams that are visible let's select all the faces control uh, a a tapping a gives uh, selection of all so a and u to unwrap we need to unwrap i already told you told you that once you have selected the edges that we want to cut now we need to unwrap open it up so unwrap is u u and we have some different options here unwrap live unwrap smart uv project light uh, map pack follow active chords q projection cylinder projection sphere projection project from view project from view bounds mark seam mark clear, clear seams and reset so mark seam and clear seam are the same that we used earlier now we just need to do is unwrap now as soon as i do unwrap here you can see that the t has been formed here you can see the t here can you see the t here 1 2 3 and this age right so this is the exact t that we selected and uh, this is the exact way i talked about right let's just understand uh, we were here uh, we said that uh, which one was that uh, yeah so this one was the edge that we cut in the c section right a u part this one was the u part so this one will be uh, if i just go to the face select mode this v this edge uh, this uh, face will be here it is here it has been unwrapped there we said that this face and this face will be uh, joined to each other but opened up so if i select shift and select this face then you can see that this face and this face are now joined at this age this one is the age which is uh, at the joint the same goes for the back also it is joined to this and this so it is joined to this and this and for the bottom also this is joined to this right so this is the four linear uh, faces that we had now we also talked about that this face from the bottom this face will be on one side of this face so here you can see this is on the one side of this face and the other will be on the other side of the same bottom face right so this is how it has been unwrapped now we can of course you know uh, select all of them rotate to give uh, different textures and uh, stuff like that right so the same thing that we did in the last tutorial is also possible right now we can just scale it up right we can scale it up to scale up the orientation we can change uh, we can change the scale and rotation to give different effects and different materials to it uh, we can also stretch it in just one direction by s and x and or s and y s y will stretch up in the one direction right so you can see the stretching visible here so this is how we do uh, uv editing and basic uv unwrapping from the uv editing panel so simple three steps uh, in the layout panel go to uh, edit mode select the edges that you want to cut and then select all the faces u and unwrap and that would do the job now also just to show you other things also let's just delete this one this cube if we have uh, let's say the default cube the default cube has the default cube projection as this one right this plus sign what we did was we made it in the t sign right but that's just up to you the way you want to do it uh, by default it is in plus uh, t size t shape we can unwrap it uh, in plus shape we can unwrap it in any shape that we want and that is how it works let's go for let's delete this object and let's uh, create a sphere now in the edit mode and when i select this we already saw how is the editing for the sphere right and also we saw for how it is for the um, the cylinder right but now what we are going to do is we are just going to use the cube and unwrap and rather than just using the unwrap which wants to have a marked seams right now we have not marked any seams and rather than doing the plain unwrap what we are going to do is we are going to go for cube projection 
So as soon as I go for Q projection, now here you can see it has just one face. But no, exactly there is it's no, not one face. All of the faces are being put upon top of each other. So if I just select one face here and I grab it right here and I select the second face, you can see the second face is here. If I just select all the faces here, you can see one of the face that we grabbed here is here and all the other five uh, faces are on top of each other. So that is how a cube projection works, right? Cube projection basically takes the cube projection from all the six sides and just put it puts it on one uh, single texture. Now uh, select all and let's unwrap in some other mode, cylinder projection. So as soon as I do cylinder projection, you can see the cylinder projection of the cube, right? That's just default ones. Let's go for the sphere projection. And as soon as I do sphere projection, this is how a sphere projection of the cube will look like. So the only reason to show you this is that if you have something similar to cube, then you can do cube projection. If you have some, the object that you are trying to unwrap is similar to a sphere, then you can do sphere projection. If the object that you want to unwrap is cylinder, then you can use cylinder projection. Uh, and that in that way, some amount of, you know, uh, details will be preserved. If we do a sphere projection or cube projection uh, or cylinder projection for the cube, you can see that the textures are not um, exactly visible, right? The textures, the mapping becomes really weird and it gets stretched on one side and other sides. So always remember uh, if it's a cube like structure, then cube, otherwise the others that we use. The last method that we want to see here for unwrapping is smart UV project. Now what smart UV projects does is you can take any sort of object, any sort of object and you can just do smart UV project for it. Now here are some few uh, options here. We just need to understand the last two ones, correct aspect and stretch to UV bounds. So if I do correct aspects, just the correct aspects is a uh, uh, tick mark and I do OK, then you can see uh, the it has not been stretched. The It has been uh, unwrapped in some other way. Of course, the unwrapping will be different for all the UV projections. But what it ex uh, what smart UV project exactly does is it estimates the scenes. It estimates the scenes. We don't need to uh, by ourselves mark the scenes. It estimates the scenes and it uh, gives a, a projection, a UV projection or UV unwrapping for the scene. Now, if I do uh, the same smart UV project with stretch to UV bounds, then uh, here also uh, it looks the same here right here but uh, what will happen in other cases is the object will be stretched to uh, all the places like uh, it will try to use maximum possible or maximum possible uh, space in this texture all the textures that we use in 3d are uh, square in a way we don't use we try to avoid using uh, square uh, rectangular textures we always use square textures so when we do the a uh, smart UV project and with stretch to UV bounds, then it tries to stretch it to have maximum space possible. But sometimes it happens that when uh, this is off, uh, when the smart uh, when the the smart stretch is on, then it can happen that you can see some stretching going on on your object. That is because uh, the algorithm is trying to maximize the space, and while maximizing the space. The, object, the face may get stretched out. So you just need to understand that uh, when you do it, when we'll be doing it in some a uh, uh, few next tutorials, then you'll understand what exactly is happening. Right now I'm just showing you that this is the smart way. Uh, we don't need to do anything, just smart way project and that's it, right? So I think that is it for this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial was also very long. Uh, in the last two or last three tutorials, I do understand that they are uh, difficult to understand because UV mapping and UV projection and UV uh, coordinate system is really, really, really difficult to understand. You need to have the 3D visualization of everything. You need to visualize how 3D can be unwrapped or opened up to 2D objects. So that is all about your imagination. I tried my best to make you understand how it works. But if you don't understand, I would suggest just uh, have few uh, objects uh, create new objects and try to unwrap them them by yourself 
and you will understand what exactly is going on so sorry if you find found it difficult to understand this uh, last two or three uh, tutorials uh, from the next tutorials we will not be touching this part we will be going on for other parts so it would be uh, easier than this part so i think uv editing and uv unwrapping is one of the most difficult part uh, and that's in the industries also in the industries also uv unwrapping is one of the most difficult parts so i hope you learned something good from this tutorial uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this youtube channel please do subscribe please do uh, share it and like this video and share this video with your friends and families um, if you have any suggestions or queries please comment down in the comment section below and see you in the next tutorial till then keep smiling and keep learning